August 7, Friday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay everyone according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord Whoever loses his life for my sake, Jesus is not an ordinary rabbi who dishes out practical tips for the ministry of the disciples. He is the divine master who helps them expand their human way of thinking by confronting it with the mystery of divine wisdom. Jesus reveals to them that genuine discipleship can become painful as it calls for constant self-abnegation. He is preparing them for the responsibilities they would carry once Jesus' prophetic words about his sacrifice would be fulfilled. However, the sacrifice of denying oneself and losing one's life for Jesus bears positive fruits. The apostles grow in their discipleship as they acquire the mind and heart of their master. In a life of selflessness and total dedication to Jesus' teachings, they find their truest and best self. They rest secure in the glorious promise of Jesus he will repay everyone for what one has done. To the disciples who have already found great joy while serving their divine master in this world, the promise of eternal life brings an even greater sense of hope. Each and every day, we must bring our minds and hearts into alignment with Jesus.